The overall goal of this procedure is to perform multiple viability assays that provide a more comprehensive view of cellular fitness than any one assay can afford by itself. This is accomplished by first measuring the ATP levels of plated cells in order to assess metabolic function. The second step is to immunostain cytoskeletal proteins such as alpha-tubulin or microtubule-associated protein 2 using infrared antibodies with wavelengths of 800 nanometers. Next, cells are labeled with infrared DRAC5 and sapphire to stain the nucleus and cytoplasm at 700 nanometers. The final step is to image the alpha-tubulin or MAP2 and the DRAC5 plus sapphire at both the 700 and 800 nanometer wavelengths on an infrared imager. Ultimately, these luminescent and infrared assays provide information on both anatomical structures and physiological function. The main advantage of these techniques over existing methods, such as the MTT viability assay, is the rapid and sensitive measurement of multiple aspects of cellular integrity. These methods can help answer key questions in the fields of neuroscience and pharmacology, such as whether uh, therapeutic compounds can protect anatomical structures and metabolic function. To begin, Harvest and replate cells in 100 or 200 microliters of media at varying cell densities in a 96-well plate as described in the accompanying protocol. Fill the surrounding wells with 200 microliters of sterile water to reduce edge evaporation effects.